In Doc Z's book, he talks about decision making. And, it, and, and, and essentially, the premise of his book is trying to ask the, answer the question, what's the playmaker's genius? What separates the Sidney Crosby's of the world from all the others, right? And in Doc Z's book, he, he, he phrases this, uh, this cognition loop, and this is what takes place in your brain when you're making decisions in sports. There's a search, a decide, and an execute aspect, right? So at the core of, of all your brain's busy work is a goal. And then what your brain does is it utilizes cues to anticipate and predict. Okay, some of the cues are kinematic in nature. So, for example, if a, if a baseball player, a batter is going to hit a curveball, okay, what are the cues? Some of them, some of them are, are, are subconscious, right, where they pick up the spin of the ball or it might be where the, elbow, the pitcher's elbow is or the rotation coming off, of, uh, coming off of his fingertips, right? There are certain cues, some are conscious, some are subconscious, that your brain utilizes to make decisions, okay? And then there's pattern recognition. And that's based on experience. The more you do something, you, you, you learn, right? You learn what, what's right, you learn what's wrong. It's, it's like that, I, I know you guys have heard the study of, they've done with, uh, with chess, players that play chess, right? And you can take grandmaster chess players and you can flash a board on, uh, in front of them for three seconds and then take it away and they can tell you where all the pieces are. Well, the reason is, is because of this pattern recognition. And that's how your brain operates, okay? So in the execute portion of it is ultimately once your brain makes a decision, you have to have the skill to be able to execute on that decision, right? And in Doc Z's book, this gentleman, Damian Farrow, who's a professor of skill acquisition uh, in Australia, he's a brilliant guy. I've read, I've read a, lot of, uh, a, a lot of his writings, and, and he's a fascinating guy. I'd, I'd love to have the privilege to meet him someday. But, but he, he, this is a guy that's dedicated his life to try and understand this stuff. And he's got, he has a great, uh, he's got a great definition of, of skill. And, and his definition is technique under pressure. 